All right, peeps, today we are going to be talking about ordering decimal values. We're actually talking about ordering all types of numbers, but the main thing we're going to work about today is ordering decimals. When you're ordering decimals, the easiest thing to do to make sure that you uh, put your decimals in order the correct way is actually adding zeros to the end of each value until every single one of these decimal values has the same amount of place value. So if I look at all these numbers here, I can see that this goes hundredths, this is tenths, that's hundredths, but I have two that go to thousandths, which means I can actually add zeros to the end of each of these values until all of these are thousandths. Because right now, comparing these is a little bit difficult. We have 31 hundredths, 3 tenths, 3 hundredths, 337 thousandths, and 31 thousandths all the way down there. But when we add our place value zeros, because we can have them all go to thousands, it doesn't actually change your value. It makes it easier to see which is the largest and which is the smallest. So now if I needed to compare these, the smallest number looking at these is obviously 30. Similarly, looking at these, it's now a lot easier to tell that the largest is 337 thousandths. Anytime you're comparing decimal values, you should add your zeros to the end until they all have the same amount of digits. That way you can compare which one is the largest and the smallest.